The clock tower in Wrightsville chimed a solitary stroke, its mournful clang echoing through the deserted streets. A cloak of inky darkness shrouded the town, punctuated only by the occasional flicker of a distant street lamp. In the heart of this nocturnal silence, a figure materialized from the shadows, clinging precariously to the side of the Wrightsville Town Art Gallery. Clad in a form-fitting black suit that seemed to absorb the darkness itself, the figure, a man named Rex Morgan, moved with the practiced ease of a seasoned thief. Rex, a name synonymous with whispers of stolen jewels and vanished valuables, worked with a calculated precision bordering on artistry. Tonight, his canvas was the Wrightsville Art Gallery, a grand building that housed priceless treasures from across the world. A small, powerful flashlight strapped to his arm cast a narrow beam that sliced through the darkness, guiding his steps towards a specific target. He reached the shattered remains of a window, a testament to his unorthodox entry. Moonlight spilled through the gaping hole, bathing the vast interior in an ethereal glow. Dust motes danced in the silvery light, revealing row upon row of paintings, each a silent sentinel guarding its own secrets. But Rex's gaze went straight to a particular canvas hanging at the far end of the gallery. It was a masterpiece. Even under the muted moonlight, the vibrant colors seemed to hum with an inner life. Brush strokes danced across the canvas, capturing a scene both breathtaking and melancholic. Rex's lips twisted into a smile a cold, calculating grin that spoke not of artistic appreciation but of the hefty sum this painting would fetch on the black market. A million dollars, he thought, the figure echoing greedily in his mind. The intrinsic value of the artwork was lost on him, all he saw were dollar signs. With a practiced step, Rex navigated the vast floor of the gallery, his movements silent and fluid. He stopped before the chosen painting, its beauty now starkly clear in the closer view. A million dollars. Absurd, he scoffed, for all he understood was the language of profit, a cold hard cash rather than the subtle whispers of artistic expression. He reached into his coat pocket, extracting a small, razor-sharp knife. This was the most delicate part of the operation. One careless movement, and the value of this art as he saw it, would plummet. With practiced ease honed by years of illicit activities, he began to detach the canvas from its frame, his movements slow and deliberate, like a surgeon performing a delicate operation. Suddenly, a misstep. His foot collided with a side table, sending a jolt through the room. A beautiful blue glass vase, a testament to some forgotten artist's skill, toppled with a sickening crack. The shattering sound echoed through the silent gallery, shattering the peaceful ambience like a gunshot. The vase exploded in a shower of glittering shards that scattered across the polished floor like fallen stars. Rex froze. A million dollar vase? His smile, a brief flicker on his face, morphed into a grimace. This night was not going according to plan. He cursed under his breath, a string of colorful expletives that would have made a sailor blush. Then, with a resigned sigh, 
He scurried across the treacherous glass shards towards the window, his escape route. Back at his dingy room in Mrs. Allen's boarding house, Rex collapsed onto the creaky bed. Exhaustion and frustration gnawed at him. He retrieved his prize from his bag, the stolen masterpiece. But the victory felt hollow, tainted by the shattered vase and the unexpected detour it had caused. He carefully wrapped the painting in newspaper, a cheap rag masquerading as a protector, before tucking it beneath the thin mattress. It was a poor substitute for a proper art crate, but it would have to do for now. Morning light flooded Sarah Allen's room, rousing her from her sleep. Sleep clung to her like a stubborn child but the insistent chirping of birds outside her window finally chased it away. With a yawn and a stretch, she started her day, her routine as predictable as the sunrise. Whistling a cheerful tune, she started her daily recycling ritual, meticulously sorting old bottles and newspapers into a designated box. Downstairs, the morning news blared from the television in the living room. Mrs. Allen, Sarah's mother, sat glued to the screen, a cup of coffee warming her hands. The news report focused on the Wrightsville Art Gallery. A million dollar painting had been stolen, the reporter announced flashing a photo of the vibrant masterpiece Sarah vaguely recognized. It was stunning, a riot of color and emotion that captured the viewer's gaze. Sarah's ears perked up. The news shifted to another segment, the shattered remains of a blue glass face, a work of art in itself, valued at a staggering amount. A frown creased her brow as she compared. 